Uh, we have to ensure that the eastern flank has a defense in depth that allows us to uh, not only uh, protect ourselves from some of the drones that we've seen, but any drones that, that, that may be produced in the future. So uh, we want to make sure that we have sensors uh, in depth. We want to make sure we have effectors in depth uh, to provide that deterrence, that persistent and deterrence. So I, I think in general, um, we just need to continue moving forward with a lot of the capabilities. Um, you know, again, you can't prepare for everything. Um, but at the same time, we have to also create a dilemma for our adversaries. So we're just not on the defensive, right? Today was a defensive capability, but some of the next demonstrations that we're doing are offensive capabilities. So at the same time, we try to understand how do we protect ourselves? We also want to create a dilemma. So a lot of the narrative is always, what is China doing? What is Russia doing? Well, we want China and Russia also thinking, what is NATO doing? Yeah, so the overarching goal of, of this event was to really, I'd say, collapse the time to bring new innovations to the field, to have soldier feedback, and to help companies iterate. So, you know, typically uh, in the Department of Defense, this can take years or decades to bring new capabilities to the to the warfighter. A lot of times these um, solutions might not operate in realistic conditions like we had uh, here this week and so this is about drastically changing that that time cycle yeah, I think that w without a doubt we found that uh, you know there's not one technology solution that's going to solve all of the different drone threats that we face today. So what exercises like this help us with is to identify what are the best of breed capabilities from a detection standpoint, from a tracking standpoint, and from a defeat standpoint that we can coalesce together for this layered defense for different threats that we might face. Yeah.